Uh, up the river in Tewkesbury, the floodwaters have been falling overnight by about six inches. Few now doubt the scientific evidence that points to the impact modern life is having on the planet's climate. We are all being asked to examine our carbon footprints and as individuals are being encouraged to look for ways to reduce energy consumption in our homes. We have to bring about a sea change in public opinion all around the world. If we look back a mere 30 years, it's true that we have come a long way with the average household now recycling more, driving greener cars, offsetting foreign flights and using low energy light bulbs. But with lighting accounting for a mere 6% of the energy used in our homes, is there anything more we could be doing? These figures show the average use of energy in our home. And it's amazing to see that space and water heating accounts for almost three quarters of the energy we consume. Whilst it is true that the efficiency of the average gas boiler has improved slightly over the last 30 years, what most people have noticed more is ever-increasing gas prices. The UK is desperate for more housing, and there's an ambitious plan to build over 200,000 new homes a year. All of these houses will need heating and hot water, and with the average house today producing over five tonnes of carbon dioxide per year, we have a real problem. So what do the public make of this? Look to the solar powers, yeah, it's just so expensive at the moment. Until they're developed, I don't think I want to sort of get involved, certainly with my own heating. You know. You're not really going to get many people interested in that. I don't, don't know how efficient it would be or the cost savings. Uh, yeah, but we live in an old house, so I don't think solar power is going to come into the equation. As gas prices rise and we search for greener alternatives to burning carbon, just what are the options available for the average household? The consumer is presented with a bewildering array of claims and counterclaims from so-called renewable technology but one technology, heat pumps, stands head and shoulders above the rest. Heat pumps to pump your house? don't know anything about them. The technology still seems quite new. No, pumps. no, I'm not. I don't know anything about those. Heat, well, I know about ground source heat pumps. I've heard of solar and that sort of thing. I've never heard of air source heat pumps. Now we know this is not scientific, but of the 25 people we spoke to, only one had heard of heat pump boiler technology, and no one had heard of air source heat pumps. And yet everyone recognises that something needs to be done regarding our changing world. As well as concerns about uh, the rising cost of fuel, there's a growing number of people who are naturally concerned about what's happening with the environment. The government is trying to do its bit to reduce carbon emissions and a number of households also recognise that they ought to be seen to be doing something as well. The country is no longer in a position of being a, a net exporter of fuel and is reliant now on getting uh, imports from some quite unreliable sources such as uh, Russia and other parts of the world. Governments across the world are using a combination of incentives, taxes and regulations to encourage the industry to meet ever more stringent environmental targets. And in the UK this is starting to take effect. When we were looking to review what type of heating system we were going to use after uh, deciding to go with the renewable energy, we looked at ground source solar and air source heat pumps and uh, air source heat pumps and the ECODAN system especially stood out because of the long-term maintenance issues. Solar you need high level access to get to the, the equipment and the, and the ground source is obviously buried in the ground again there's a problem it's very difficult to get to if, if you can get to it at all. We are going to have to change the way that we use energy and reduce the amount we consume and this type of heat pump technology is one of those ways. We've seen in the past year energy costs rising to higher and higher levels and to be honest that's only going to go one way. So what is the solution? The UK's desperate need for new homes is increasingly becoming a hot political topic. Now, these people in hospitals and schools who we desperately need as key workers need a house now. They can't wait till we get the doubling of the housing. That'll take quite something to change around. But we're going into that. For construction companies and developers, housing associations and anyone involved in solving the UK's acute shortage of affordable homes one technology stands out from the crowd. The systems in the past have, have perhaps been designed around the, the single customer occupier. The beauty about the EcoDan system is that it is a self-contained and similar package to a traditional installation for a gas boiler system. Uh, the planning system is definitely embracing renewable technologies and they are looking at schemes more favourably and will take on more of the design issues if they incorporate renewable energy systems. This type of system is outside specifically because it's recovering renewable heat from the air all around us and it's taking that heat, it's concentrating it and upgrading it and transferring that into your radiators or your hot water. The main market for the Ecodan is likely to be large-scale housing developers. 
the technology meets all modern building regulations and sets new standards for heat pump boilers. So how does it work? The concept of trying to heat something when the ambient air outside is minus 20 is probably one of the most difficult to grasp. And we need to go back to when we were all at school and we did our science and absolute zero being minus 273 degrees C. So as long as we're above that, there's energy available to extract. And with modern heat pump technology, which we've got in this type of product, we quite comfortably extract sufficient heat at minus 20 to heat these properties. And this type of technology applied in any modern house is gonna give us a reduction of something like 20 to 30% in the total carbon footprint of that house and running cost savings of the order of 20% as well. They wouldn't notice any difference with this type of product compared to what they've traditionally got in their house now, i.e. when they turn their tap on, hot water will come out and when they want their house to be warm, it will be warm. Homeowners don't really need to worry about how an air source heat pump works. What is important is that householders get the comfort levels that they're looking for, the heating and hot water turns up reliably when it's needed, and also that their fuel bills are going to be lower than they have been before. The government has set down very aggressive targets for the UK as a whole to reduce energy consumption and therefore reduce the amount of carbon emitted by the country. This type of heat pump technology is one of the ways that will reduce the amount of energy consumption in both domestic and commercial applications. The central heating infrastructure with a heat pump is very similar to that you'd have with a gas boiler, so from an internal perspective the installation costs are virtually identical. The difference you have is that the heat pump as a heat source has a slightly higher capital cost for you to pay than a gas boiler. That cost will be quickly recouped by the savings in running costs in the following three to five years. Over the last few decades, the introduction of new heating systems in the home have led to huge infrastructure changes. Thousands of gas fitters toured British homes to carry out the work. Now a new challenge faces the country and we need to find a cost-effective way of replacing old gas technology without such dramatic change. Ecodan air source heat pumps offer a radical new way of providing the protection and quality of life that most British residents take for granted. But unlike some of the alternative technologies being offered to the market, it is a practical and affordable option right now.